Good evening ladies and gentlemen, I'm Super Ego and this is Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, episode 2. So we're still in our apartment in Santa Monica, this shitty rundown place above a pawn shop that the prince has bestowed on us for the duration of our stay while we carry out his dirty work. Uh, so we've got some pills that someone's left behind and they've lost a watch which we can sell. Um, so, also got a note here. Hey, the password for your computer is Sunrise. Keep the cash in the drawer, it's yours. I dropped you an email with my address. Come on over after you get settled. And that's from Mercurio, who is our contact for the mission that we've got from the Prince. We've also got this note, which has just triggered a quest. Uh, at your convenience, please come and visit me in my home downtown. I leave you this to guide you. Dark blood, our case, I like this verse. Such power I sense in one so young. Come find me where burns the mystical sun. And that's from an M. Strauss, the Tremere Regent. We're going to meet him a little bit later on. So, emails. So, sunrise. So Mercurio will contact you when you arrive in Santa Monica, I waste no time in meeting with him. So that's from Sebastian the Croy. Uh, penis enlargement, we don't need that. Uh, message from Kilpatrick's Crime Pewter. Uh, Arthur at dirtcheapinternet.vtm Looking for that lazy ass ex-husband who's late on his alimony payments? How about that jerk who knocked you up? Look no further. With Arthur Kilpatrick's amazing crime pewter, you can find almost anyone with the record, and these days that's just about everyone. So come on down to Arthur Kilpatrick's bail bonds. If you've got the deadbeat, we've got the technology to find him. And we'll be meeting Arthur Kilpatrick very soon. And now we've got an email from our contact Mercurio. Hey, welcome to town. Come on over to my place once you get situated and we'll talk about what you'll need to get the job done. I'm going to pick up some explosives right now, some astrolite. I should be back by the time you come over. I'm at 24 Main Street in number 4. Walk to the end of the alley and my building is the next one on the right. M. And a uh, very anonymous and ominous email. The game begins. A pawn is moved. And that's from a friend. Sounds like a friend as well. If you're a friend, tell me what you mean. Um, I believe there's something in here, yeah. So we've got some blood packs for emergency use only. Um, so discovered found there's... sea creatures. Our top story tonight: a oh, derelict ship found Let's floating ten miles off the Los Angeles coast earlier this morning was towed into the port of Los Angeles a few hours ago. The ship was spotted around midnight by fishermen who contacted the Coast Guard after their attempts to hail the ship proved futile. Coast Guard officials are releasing very little information right now, but have identified the vessel as the Elizabeth Dane. No word as of yet as to the whereabouts of the crew, though the Coast Guard are asking any ships that had contact with the Elizabeth Dane to assist them in their search. We'll have more on the story as it breaks. In other news, an apparent third victim of the Southland Slasher has prompted the closing of the Santa Monica Pier, where the body was found earlier tonight. Investigators say the scene closely mirrors those of slayings in Glendale and Long Beach. In both cases, the bodies of the victims were described as torn apart, though details are being withheld from the public at this time. Police urge anyone with information relating to this case to contact them. A massive gelatinous creature that... And we've already heard that last one. So, two main things going on at the moment according to the news apart from the massive gelatinous creature on the beach is the derelict cargo ship the elizabeth dane that's been towed into the port um, and also a killer on the loose i mean besides me um as well as that um i'm not going to listen to it now but the radio has got some awesome content on it um it's like a late night talk show called the deb of night um which I highly recommend you guys listen to at some point. What was that then? I just saw something red. There's probably a light outside. Right, so let's go and meet Mercurio. Before, but first we're going to read this newspaper. So we've got another quest. Carnival of Death. Gruesome remains found on the pier. Police baffled. And we have... An abandoned apartment.
with bugger all in it. That doesn't open. The one up there needs to be lock picked, so we're not going to do that now. Let's head out into Santa Monica itself. You got you got some change, Mister. Uh, I'm gonna be picky. I'm not gonna feed off bums during this playthrough. I do, but not for you. Asshole. Asshole. Okay, so someone's in a bad way, but this is a game, and it's not timed. We can wander. Let, let's have a wander. So what have we got here? So first of all, we've got the pawn shop. We've got a tattoo parlor, and we've got a medical clinic. Let's head over to the medical clinic. Need something, pal? I'm. I'm okay. I was just looking for someone. Oh man, wait! Say that again! Okay. I'm. There you oh well, are. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> You're a vampire, aren't you? What? Vampire? What the hell are you smoking? All of a sudden, I've gone very British. Oh, come on! Oh man, you are too! Don't bullshit me, man. <laughs> Just come clean, you know? I mean, oh man, I ain't gonna tell no one. It's okay, man. I just wanna talk. All right, then. Let's talk. Hell yeah! Oh man, I knew it. I just, oh jeez, I knew you were. I just could tell, like, oh man, this is great. And then I saw your teeth, and, and I was like, damn, it was like I could just sense you. The name's Knox Harrington. Pleasure to meet you. Oh man. <laughs> Are you a vampire? How'd you know all this? I'm a ghoul. I didn't know about any of this stuff until a couple of months ago. When this guy just appeared and... Well, all of a sudden, BAM! Whoa, man! Vampires are real and right there in front of my eyes! Blew my goddamn mind. You said you're a ghoul? What is that? Well, the way it was explained to me, whenever a vampire lets a human drink some of their vampire blood, the human gains a little vampire power. Can heal up quick and that kind of stuff. Jeez, oh man. Then they're a ghoul and ooh, watch out. You seem to enjoy it. It's awesome. Man, after that first taste of vampire blood, it's like the best drug. Oh man, I'm telling you, it's like, well, it didn't mess me up. It just made me feel like I was better at everything. I felt like a god just sucking on that nasty dude's wrist. Who was this nasty dude? Oh man, I really wish I could tell you, but I don't think I'm supposed to. But it's really cool to be talking to you just, well, because I don't get a lot of chance to talk to vampires. Oh man, well, other than my master. So I thought I'd just say, you know, what's up, <laughs> you know? So what are you doing around here? Look, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I'm on a secret mission for my master. Well, hey, it's been great talking to you, man, but I better be going. Oh, man, you know, important stuff to do. See you around. Hey, man. Oh, just wrong one again. Just because you're some <laughs> cool vampire, you don't need to treat me like crap, okay? Oh, man, I'm so agitated. Okay, I apologize. Should have pressed the right button this time. Really? <laughs> that is so cool. It's like, oh, man, I knew you weren't an asshole. Well, I'll be seeing you around. Later! Hey, buddy, go your own way. Oh, where the fuck did you come from? I say, good sir, where did you suddenly materialize from? Nice. Let's head into the medical center. Please, wait your turn and you'll be seen. Yes, whatever. Please, wait your turn and you'll be seen. Yes, whatever. Did you hear me? Take a seat. The doctor will get to you when he can. But they need someone like me there. All right. Yes, that's what I thought. 
Wench! Uh, uh, please, get a doctor. I'll see what I can do. Ah, uh, my insides. It hurts so bad. Dr. Saad, please. Dr. Saad, I say it does appear I need some blood. Lucky for me, I carry some in my on my person. There we go, much better. <laughs> Can someone call my grandma, please? Stay with me. I can save you. Here, drink this and live. That's entirely optional to do this at this point. Not at all. So I've gained some humanity because we've helped the woman. You like that? Best cure in the world. You... Mm, who... Uh, who are you? Oh, what did you do? What did you do to me? <sighs> Nothing. I'm just a nurse. No, no. You did something. I can feel it. It's fixing me. You... I, I kissed your wrist. What did you do? Look, forget about this. And don't say anything. You'll be fine. You... I feel like I know you. Like you've always been here. I really must be going now. Ta-ta! And there's plenty more stuff to do in the clinic. Um, there's a couple of side quests that go on in there, but we've got plenty of time. Uh, let's go and speak to this dude. Actually, no, I'm not going to speak to him yet. I'm going to speak to him a bit later. So, that's the building where the dude, the injured dude, went in, and that's also the address for our contact Mercurio. So, what are the chances that dude was Mercurio? Uh, and we've got a whore. Hey baby, looking for a date? That all depends. <laughs> How much? For you, honey? 50 American dollars. Best money you'll ever spend. I promise. Sorry, I'm a little short right now. <laughs> That's too bad. Come back when you've got the money. You won't regret it. I'll see you soon. But probably not, because I'm not the most thrifty of fellows. We got a poster for the local nightclub. Which is actually through here. I, I know it's a game and all that, but... This is an extremely tight... I mean, how the hell is this car parked here? You're telling me it's gotten through there or through there? How, how's this car got through? You know... Very, very tight car park. Whoa! Okay, what the hell? I'm assuming they're standing out of the rain. Not the police, though. The police are hard. They don't give a shit. 
So that's the nightclub. Got a little diner. Place called Foxy Boxes. The end is here. Skies are all rotten and the storm is our death sentence. The bones of your ancestors will rise up and reclaim the flesh that they lent their sorry progeny. Okay. Tell you what, let's go and meet Arthur Kilpatrick. Who sent us an email. I'm sure he sent a lot of Hello, people an email. LA. You're up way past your bedtime, aren't you? Hope you've slipped yeah, into something with his beer guts. Welcome to Kilpatrick 24 Hour Bail Bonds. My name's Arthur Kilpatrick. How can I help you? The only girl who will spend the night with you. You run this place, I assume? Yep, sure do. I'm a third generation bondsman. Got a few employees, but I handle most every aspect of the business. I don't see any employees, Arthur. I gotta have a few other bondsmen to keep the place open 24 hours. Plus a bounty hunter. I pull the graveyard shift because that's when all the crazy shit happens in Santa Monica. <laughs> Santa Monica doesn't sound like a good place to be living. Well, my business ain't bad, I can tell you that much. Santa Monica's gone downhill. Used to be pretty nice, I guess. We do a higher volume now than we did a few years ago, but we gotta deal with a lot more bail jumpers and crap like that. It does sound like Santa Monica's seen better days. Hell yeah. I ain't complaining. I'm in a good position to watch it all just slide right down the tubes, you know what I mean? <laughs> you get a lot of bail jumpers, I assume? Of course. Goes with the business. Then you sick the bounty hunter on them. That's got to be an interesting job. You betcha. I used to do some bounty hunting myself back in the day. Takes a solid set of brass balls to make a good bounty hunter, I'll tell you that much. Is the bounty hunter you have now any good? Yep, damn good. His name's Carson, and he's great at what he does when he wants to do it. I can't seem to find him now, though. He's pissing me off, to be honest. I need him to go find someone. Can't you just find another bounty hunter? Well, I don't feel right cutting Carson loose just yet. We go way back. I knew his father, too. Tell you what, since I'm stuck here, why don't you go look for him? Just real quick. I'll pay you for your time. Well, I suppose I could, but you'd better make it worth my while. Great, great. I suppose the first place you should look is his apartment in Santa Monica Suites. Apartment 1, I think it is. Maybe you'll find something there to let you know where he's got himself to. Here's a key card. That'll let you in. Before I go, could you answer a question? Sure, pal. What is it? I want to know about a few places in town. What place you want to know about? What do you know about the asylum? Oh, you mean that club? We get drunk and disorderlies and drug bust out of there sometimes. Some fights. The owners run it pretty tight, though. Who are the owners? You know, I'm not even sure. Couple of ladies. Sisters, I think. You don't see them around here too much. Interesting. I wanted to ask you about another place. What place you want to know about? Do you know anything about the Gallery Noir? Ah, yeah, I know the place. Funny thing is, that spot used to hold a stinky old pet store. Now it's some hoity-toity art gallery with wine and cheese and whatnot. Yes, yeah, very ironic. Now, I want to ask you about some place else. What place you want to know about? Some place close to here. Yeah, sure. Where? Hey. What do you know about the diner? The yeah, that old diner right been there going on four decades now. Chicken. Ain't really had a staff right. change since Nixon was in office, neither. Good people there. That's good. What the? Hmm, interesting. I wanted to find out what's another place. What place you want to know about? Why? Some place close to here. Yeah, sure. Where? What can you tell me about the pier? The old pier used to really draw in tourism money, but it don't so much anymore. It's pretty much just an old, weather-beaten landmark now. Hmm, that's too bad. I have to run. I'll see you later, Arthur. A New York banker and recent whittler down on his luck. And ten makes one hundred. Here's your money, ma'am. Ma'am, I happen to have a glandular problem. That's it. I'm withdrawing all my millions from this bank. Cash! It's an advert on the radio for a new sitcom that's coming out. Called Transferring Cash. The roots! Yes! Crap! Crap! Great! 
Right, so we've got another quest from Arthur Kilpatrick to go and find his bounty hunter Carson, who hasn't checked in with him. There's the diner, there's another hooker. That's nothing. Right, let's cut through the alley. Round the back of the asylum and down past the blood bank which is in the medical centre where we were before and now let's go and check out our friend Mercurio who I'm guessing is in a bit of a bad way and this is also where Carson's apartment is I'll tell you what let's check out Carson's place first and I saw some really creepy stuff down there. There was uh, no sign of McGee. I'm going to follow up on another lead I got, too. I updated the files on the computer. Uh, this is Carson signing off. Man, that sounds stupid. $25? Let's just rob the poor bastards. A key for the tattoo parlor. Uh, he said he's on a computer. Oh, wait, it's the computer. McGee. Let's see if we can hack it. I don't think it's going to be doable. Oh, it is. Awesome. Imalia. Right, location. McGee is hiding in the tattoo parlor in Santa Monica. Key. Is that the key we've just got? On top of the TV. Yep, yeah, we've just got the key. Right, oh. I can't go in there. I think that's it, isn't it? Pretty lady in a red dress. Imalia. That was his password, which we didn't need to check. We just hacked it. Uh, I won't be able to pick that lock yet, because me lock picking is awful. Right then, let's go and see Mercurio. Those mothers ripped me off. I'm dying here. Oh. Are you Mercurio? Uh, yeah. You're looking for the astrolite? I'm... Oh, I can feel a draft on my fucking insides. They shank me. The bastards. The blood ain't working no more. My head, it feels cracked. Oh, I think my eyes popped. Stay with me. What happened? I got... I went... Uh, what is this lump? Is this my rib? Oh, holy shit. My rib is poking through my side? Oh. I'm all numb. You gotta look and tell me. It's a broken bottle. Now, tell me what happened to you. All right, all right. Jeez, you think you were the one laying here with his guts hanging out? It was that freaking chemist. Guy mixes up speed, his crew sells it. Occasionally does explosives. I set up a drop. I show up at the beach with the money, right? Four of these guys, they come out of nowhere. Junky pricks, hit me with a bat. <coughs> it feels like I got a freaking horse kick in it. I never should have gone alone. Amateur move. I should have handled those bricks. Goddamn dirty Cali rat bastards. Those cocksuckers beat me rotten, left me for a stiff. I had to crawl to my car, crawl my ass up here. The vamp blood's the only thing holding me together. But shit, they got the money, they got the astrolite. You don't have the astrolite? Hold on, you think I'm some amateur? I got their number. The small time sons of bitches live out in a dump on the beach. Maybe four or five of them. The one's got the explosives is Dennis. Got my money too, that prick. How do I get there? Laying in a pool in my own blood and you want friggin' directions. Right, all right. Uh, down the street, in the parking garage, stairs down to the beach. On the right. <clears throat> Those better not be some of my last words. Anything else? You gotta... You gotta get it back from him. Maybe reason with him, maybe break in. I don't know. I want to kill him. Do whatever you people do. I blew it, I know. Is there anything I can do to help you? Yeah, if you could... Oh, something just started leaking. I need something for the pain. I'll bring something back for you. Uh, one more thing. About the deal. I mean it. You tell anyone about this, I'm dead. I'm begging you. 
I got a way of getting people what they need. You don't say anything, I can help you out. Good to know. Goodbye. Oh, he just faints. Yeah, let's have a little nosy round, then, and we can rob off you, dude. No. Oh well. Worth a look. Right. First of all, let's see if we can get him some painkillers. I've got a feeling the pills are picked up early and aren't going to help him. If my memory serves me correctly, estrogen, yeah, they're not going to do anything. Tell you what, let's head down to the blood bank first of all. Can we pick it? Whoa, lock difficulty of nine. We're not going to pick that anytime soon. Employee of the month, Vandal. So this is Vandal. Smirk on his face. You next up for the needle? Hmm? Your donation could save a life, you know. Oh, but isn't it a little late for altruism? I don't think you're here to give blood at all. I don't buy it, Jack. I bet you're here to take blood. Am I right? You offering? Right down to business. None of this pretend I don't drink blood shit. Very refreshing to find a decisive customer. I respect that. So, what'll it be? How much? If you have to ask. Show me what you've got. Now serving number 26? Number 26. Well, can't afford any of that anyway. Let's head back upstairs. And up again. Actually, no. Can't go up there yet, because there's cops. Oh, well, security guards at the very least. Right, so we need... Oh, well, the girl we helped is gone. Need to find some... Painkillers or... Something to help Mercurio. Password is Lakers. A little help. Hey Danny, I could use a little help down here. Can you go up to controlled substances for some morphine? I'm pretty busy right now, thanks F Dog, right? So we know there's morphine upstairs. No, it's not for my personal use, you bastard. I didn't know they were out upstairs. Maybe you can get some in Malcolm's office. By the way, your mother wears combat boots, F Dog. Okay, so there isn't any upstairs. Oh shit, that's cold, but I'll go make sure to knock before I go in. I say to catch him in the middle of a pelvic examination. And by the way, tell your mom to stop calling me F Dog. Okay, so, some mom jokes there. There's an L. Let's check out. This dude. Phil Phlebotomus is a loyal employee and a hard worker, but seems to have various digestive tract abnormalities, which unfortunately results in an increased rate of flatulence. The smell of these phenomena is nothing short of horrendous. It seems we may have to do something about him. <coughs> Bill E. Dr. Bill has worked at this clinic's internal wrangler since 1999. St. Martin M. Malcolm St. Martin is our night shift senior physician. Robert D. Has never lost a patient. No one could succeed like Dr. Roberts. Thornton K. Several malpractice suits filed against him for unnecessary gynecology. Suggests termination. Didn't know. Clinics had the 
authority to approve the death penalty. Can't get in there. What's this? What is this? Oh, that's I'm sorry, sir, but you're going to have to wait outside like everyone else. No exceptions. Fine. I told you, I will get to you when I can. Please take a seat. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, so we can't do anything else there yet. Um. Let's see what the difficulty of this lock is. A four. Our lock picking is one. A blood buff, I think it increases it by two. Um, so we can't do anything there. I suppose we can... Lock picking is increased by security and dexterity. Dexterity improves lock picking and sneaking. Yeah, why not? We'll increase that. Blood buff. We should be able to pick this lock. Hooray! Right, so we've got some morphine. Let's see if we can hack, hack this dude's email. We can indeed. Right. What's all this about? Malcolm, are you free tonight? I thought you could swing by my apartment after your shift. You do still make house calls, don't you, Doctor? I have something that needs to be checked out. And that's from Paige. Th reply to think she's suspicious. Do I really have to ask twice? We don't have to do anything if we don't want to, but I really do need some help studying for my anatomy test. Please. That's from Paige. Guess I'll see you around five. I'm really glad you finally decided to come over. And if you should want me to show my appreciation, you just have to ask. Very friendly, this Paige. Malcolm, do you think you'll be able to get a day off next week? My mother's coming into town on Thursday. I bought a new mattress and some curtains for the guest room. And do you think you can pick up some donuts and orange juice on the way home for breakfast? Different email address. So this doctor's carrying on with someone. Behind his wife's back. Let's see if we can use that to our advantage. I told you, I will get to you when I can. Please take a seat. You Malcolm? Sorry, you Malcolm? Your wife know about your affair? Get out of here. Can't you see I'm with a patient? I guess you don't care if your wife finds out then. Hmm. Are you trying to blackmail me? You don't know who my wife is. She wouldn't believe you. Now get out. Then I'll go forward that email from Paige to Trina at sol.vtm. Wait now. What do you want? 150. Er. Deal. But I'm in the middle of something. I'll have to drop it off later. Now never speak to me about that again. Put it in the mailbox for 508 in the apartments over the pawn shop, Doctor. We're no response. I got the response I wanted. So we got the morphine. Let's quickly head back over to Mercurio. And ease his pain slightly. Mercurio? Uh, I brought you some morphine. Hold still. Uh, oh. oh, holy Christ, I needed that. Hope that helped. Goodbye. No, that sounds daft. You're welcome. I'll come back when I have the astrolyze. Goodbye. Oh, and we got some experience and some humanity. Very nice indeed. Right, 
while we're in this lovely hallway with some soothing piano tunes, uh, I'm going to cut the video. Uh, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we'll crack on with more Vampire after the weekend. Um, in future, Vampire videos should be out on a Tuesday and a Thursday. Uh, but I've had to switch this video with yesterday's Alien video because of recording problems for Vampire. Um, anyway, we shouldn't have any issues going forward. Thank you very much once again, ladies and gentlemen. And for now, I will say tatty bye.